Howdy, folks, and welcome to our post-Thanksgiving program. Whew, we're almost full of turkey. It's just about can't hardly talk and breathe, but we're going to make it. Glad you joined us on the Gospel Porch today, and we have a program that's going to just set you back on your heels and do a little foot stomping and hand clapping, and uh, I just never know before we get through this thing. We all might be just shouting around the room. Uh, this uh, this group we're going to play today and featured today is the Far City Boys out of North Carolina. Uh, I guarantee you they have a God-given talent, and uh, they're quick to give their testimony through music. And it's going to be an exciting day. We encourage you to hang on. And we trust that uh, over the Thanksgiving holidays, y'all have had a great time, been with friends and family, and uh, took a little time out to thank the Lord for all that he has blessed us with. That's what I was telling the wife this morning. I said, you know, uh, to have a roof over our head and have a full belly and have friends and family around us and, and to live in a country like America where we can uh, share our freedom of religion, uh, it's just a great thing. And uh, what makes it even better today that you joined us on the Gospel Porch. And, and again, this is your host, Gary Graves, Steve-O behind the, the camera back there and pushing all the buttons, and I couldn't make it without him. And uh, he's uh, probably 99% of the program. I'm just that half percent and uh, whatever we throw in there, the other half percent. But uh, God is good, and uh, we're going to have a great time. Uh, the Far City Boys, uh, you know, they've been kicking around a while. We don't know how current uh, they are now today. You sort of lose track with groups. Uh, they're really hot and big and going strong for a while. Then they sort of back up and fade away. Then they come back with different members. But uh, we're glad to feature them today. The Far City Boys from North Carolina. First song I'm going to play, uh, I, I like the title of it because it says, He Set My Spirit Free. praises and glory with the sweetest of melody I'm reminded of a story in the Bible how God's eye was on the sparrow that day then I think about how much more he loves me that he sent his son to die on Calvary God saw the fallen state of man it was not the master's plan so he left his throne to die for you and me only the blood of the Lamb Make me what I am. He redeemed my soul and set my spirit free. Yes, he redeemed my soul and set my spirit free. Son of God in all of His glory Revealed in the blessed trinity Be reminded of the story of salvation How God's eye was on your sorrow that day Then just think about how much Jesus loves you That He came and gave His life on Calvary God saw the fallen state of man It was not the Master's plan So He left His throne to die for you and me Set my spirit free. Yes, he redeemed my soul and set my spirit free. Set my spirit free. Set my spirit free. I'm glad he did one day. 
I was bound up in chains of sin, but Jesus came along and set me free. Uh, I'd just like to read the band members and uh, some of the things they did. Kevin Street uh, plays guitar and the vocals. Uh, his father, Mike Street, plays the bass and the vocals. Uh, Baron Rogers plays mandolin and vocals. Roger Holland plays banjo and vocals. And Josh Green plays the fiddle. We don't have the name. Been trying to do research on the man, uh, the dobro player, but can't seem to find out who exactly he is, but does an awesome job playing that dobro. Uh, some of their uh, recommendations came from the Primitive Quartet. You know, the Primitive Quartet's been around a long, long, long time. And uh, to have uh, them to give recommendations, quite a, uh, a star and quite a feather in their cap. And, uh, as you can uh, hear already, they're fast movers. And uh, they'll have some fast ones, some slow ones. And before we get through, we'll hear a good, good mix of the Far City Boys from North Carolina. The next song we're going to play is Let Salvation Be Your Beacon. And uh, truly, our testimony, <clears throat> excuse me, our testimony ought to be what's shining out uh, to this world that's lost without Jesus. And uh, it's a dark world, but Jesus is the light, and we are to be the beacon. So let salvation be your beacon. <laughs> And I cried, oh Lord above, help me find a quiet cove. Then a voice rang up on high in that storm there soon arose. See the center, pick your head up, steer the course that you are shown. Watch the guiding star in heaven, it will safely lead you home. Though dark waters toil around you, worry not, you're in my hand. Let salvation be your beacon. Sell on to the promised land. Shown every rider how I wandered in his side. With firm hands on the wheel, I set forth upon that star. Praising God that I've heard his sweet voice from afar. See the center, pick your head up, steer the course that you are shown. Watch the guiding star in heaven, it will safely lead you home. Though dark waters toil around you, worry not, you're in my hand. Let salvation be your beacon, sell on to the promised land. Shown. Though we may have toils and troubles, we should never feel alone. We're not born here just to die, leaving troubles in our way. When he guides from up on high, let his course be what you take. Say it, sinner, pick your head up, steer the course that you are shown. Watch the guiding star in heaven, it will safely lead you home. Though dark waters toil around you, worry not, you're in my hand. Let salvation be your beacon, sell on to the promised land. Let salvation be your beacon, sell on to the promised land. Sail on to the promised land. Let salvation be your beacon. Absolutely. <laughs> You might have saw me get a little uh, tickled, a little laughter going on on the set today. I, I bumped the microphone, and when it's when I bumped the microphone, 
it uh, amplifies in Brother Steve O's ears about 50% louder. And so it kills me the evil eye. So we have a good time. <laughs> Oh, mercy. We're just human folks around here having a good time playing good old bluegrass gospel music. I was trying to sneak a sip of tea uh, and uh, watch that last bit of turkey down. But uh, anyway, we're human, and we're going to make a few mistakes like that. But aren't you glad that we serve a God that knows our mistakes and helps us through our mistakes? Amen. The third song sort of follows along with being led. And says, Lord, lead me on. And uh, definitely, we need the Lord to lead us every single day, every moment of the day. Uh, I couldn't make it without him, and I'm glad that he's leading me one step at a time. Uh, the Bible tells us the steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord, and I'm glad he orders our steps. So uh, song number three today is, Lord, lead me on by the Far City Boys. I could listen to that one all day long. I just like the harmony, and uh, it's just it's just one of those songs that sort of catches a hold of me. I like that. Lord, lead me on. <laughs> I uh, 
I'm amazed at the talent these guys have. And uh, I tell you what, I hope and pray that they're still traveling and putting out projects. Uh, that song was off of a 2000. Let me see and find my notes here. 2011. And uh, so they've been uh, sort of out of pocket for a while, but I'm sure if we look hard enough, we'll find them out there somewhere. But we appreciate them letting us play their music today. The next song talks about I Fell in Love with Jesus. And uh, there's nothing like having a relationship with the Lord. You know, people know uh, about Jesus. They, they've heard about Jesus all their life. And, uh, you know, maybe from Christmas stories or from church upbringing or whatever but to really have a relationship with the lord is what it's all about uh, i believe these uh, boys know what it means to have a personal relationship with jesus uh, i don't think you could sing like this and uh, have the anointing that they have uh, without having that personal contact with jesus you know he comes to seek and to save that which was lost we're all lost everybody came into this world need the savior and jesus certainly is that savior and so the next song talks about falling in love. I fell in love with Jesus should be uh, something that we have a testimony about. Not that we know him, but uh, that we fell in love with him and he became our savior and then we became his child. So listen to the Far City Boys as they sing, I fell in love with Jesus.
sin from God's will you did fall You need the Lord, He can help you through it all The answer is simple, the answer is plain Just fall on your knees and call out His name Give you of your sin He'll always be with you To help you to win There's no better answer If you're losing the game Just fall on your knees And call out His name You do what you should He's coming one day Into this world to reign And you'll fall on your knees And call out His name thought of that song is that every knee is going to bow and every tongue confess one day that he is Lord you know we have an opportunity on this side of uh, eternity to make our calling and election sure you know some people say well we'll wait till we get to a certain point in our life then we'll call on Jesus but that's not how it works we call on him when he calls to us Bible says call upon him while he's near talks about seeking him and you know and uh, a lot of people today want to choose and pick and their opportunity to call on the Lord but it doesn't work that way whenever he gets ready and starts calling us that's when we start responding to his call you know there's a lot of people in this world today that are going through the holiday seasons and past Thanksgiving and into Christmas for coming at a fast rate and uh, go through these holidays miserable because they have such an emptiness in their heart Jesus came to bring a fullness and a peace and a joy to our heart that's why the angels there on the hillsides of Bethlehem says peace and talked about joy talked about all the attributes that God would bring in when he came a peace on earth and goodwill towards men joy to the world uh, and today people don't have that joy but they can and you can today and I don't know your life and I'm not about to judge and I'm not a judge at all I, I'm just simply a sinner that's been saved by the grace and the mercy of God walked in those shoes for a long time but God gave me a new pair of shoes and I walk in righteousness now not my righteousness I should never boast of my righteousness but I boast in his righteousness he makes me what I am and so if you're out there today and you're listening to the gospel porch and maybe you just heard about bluegrass music and wanted to listen in and uh yeah i don't want to become preaching to you today but i just want to give you an opportunity to bow your hearts and heads and we're going to pray that uh, somehow in the next days uh, to come as the lord affords us the privilege to live that we find that real peace of god that passes human understanding so would you bow your heads and hearts with me? Lord, I know today that you have called us again for an appointed time, that nothing happens by accident, that everything that happens with us, around us, and for us happens for a purpose, and you are the director. 
You are the architect, Lord, of this day. And I believe that you've allowed some to tune in. And perhaps they were just surfing the YouTube and trying to find some music and they came across the gospel porch. Today, I pray, Lord, that they will begin to find the peace that comes with a commitment to you. Lord, they're searching for something to satisfy. The world will offer all kinds of counterfeits and all kinds of things, but they'll never do what you can do. So, Lord, speak to their hearts today and let them know that you love them. And let them understand that the first message given by angels on hillside of Bethlehem, peace on earth and goodwill towards men still applies today. God, I want to thank you for allowing me this platform, this privilege to come and to share you over the airwaves. And Lord, I thank you, Lord, that you have blessed me. And because you have blessed me, Lord, how can I be silent and how can I be quiet? I thank you for all that you've done, what you're doing, what you're going to do. And Lord, I ask for a move of the Spirit of God upon people's lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen. Oh, yeah, that's all you have to do today is just turn your life over to him and say, Jesus, here I am. Take the mess and make it right, and he certainly can. That last song was fall upon your knees, and and uh, we have to do that daily anyway. We have to pray and seek the face of the Lord. But uh, the next song talks about thanking the Lord and says, thank you, the Lord. And, and uh, that's what we just came through, the Thanksgiving time, and uh, giving Paulus to thank the Lord. So listen to the next song by the Far City Boys. Thank you, Lord, and praise your name for the air that I breathe. Thank you, Lord, for every blessing that I receive. Please keep me up and to work for me. Thank you, Lord, for saving. so good to me that is 
Just want to thank you, Lord. Man, that's a message right there that should ring true to every Christian to take time to thank the Lord for all that he has done. And what he's doing, that was off the 2009 project, uh, I Have Been Blessed. And certainly these uh, guys have been blessed with some awesome, awesome talent to sing the gospel. And the thing about the songs we're playing today is they present the gospel message to you that it's all in Jesus, all in him. Uh, the next song, moving right along, we uh not doing a whole lot of talking. we got some a lot of songs to try to play in here today. But the next song says, My Lord Keeps a Record. And uh, I know that he does. But uh, one thing about it, uh, we keep all those bad things under the blood. And it says, My Lord Keeps a Record. Far City Boys from North Carolina. <laughs> Come. 
call me, call me to that wonderful, beautiful place. place. And someday, yes, someday, they will call me, call me to that wonderful. song brought back some memories uh reminds me of one of the old hymns and, I mean, of course i'm old enough to know that a lot of the old hymns but that one line says my lord keeps a record he knows everything that we do and uh, the thing about it is once we uh, realize he does if we make a mistake we just go to him and ask him to forgive us and he's the merciful god to forgive us uh, i like those old songs them old standards you know, the, the one I guess that stands out in most people's minds is Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I found I was blind, but now I see. And uh, that's an amazing thing to think about the amazing grace of God. Uh, moving right along, and we've got uh, several more songs to play, so uh, we're just going to keep the program going. And uh, the next song, uh, they're all sort of hand in hand. It says the half that's never been told. And uh, truly, we can't describe what heaven's going to be like, but uh, we know it's going to be a great, glorious place. Listen to this one by the Far City Boys. Streets 
to a child of God to, to say goodbye here is to say hello over there and uh, what an awesome song my 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 uh, each time I hear a song like that that talks about the saints and uh, you'll not have one complaint of a saint if you could open up the portals of heaven and talk to those uh, uh, that is gone by the way of the grave and uh died in the faith you'll not find one person that uh, has a complaint about leaving this world to headed to a world far better than this and uh, that's exciting news to think that this world is not our home we're just passing through this is just a temporary spot and uh, even if we live to be 80 90 100 years old uh, it's just a momentary blink of an eye compared to eternity we're going to rest beside the Crystal River, walk on streets that are pure gold. And uh, my, what an exciting, exciting time that is going to be. Uh, I don't know. I guess uh, I, every time I hear songs like that, I think about my precious mom. And uh, she's made the journey, and she's waiting on us. Her and Dad made the journey some time back. And uh, uh, every day, I know uh, if my sister was here, she'd tell you the same thing that there's a pull, a steady pull towards heaven from those that have gone on where we'll hear the half that's never been told. We know what's happened so far, but there's some things we'll be probably uh, shared with on the other side of eternity. Amen. I like that one. That was, uh, that brought a little tear to my eye uh, because it just reminded me of some things past that were good memories. Uh, Wings of Angels. Uh, these... Uh, this was put out on the uh, 2011 album, a uh, project. Uh, still old-fashioned, call them albums, uh, but they're actually projects. I don't guess they've cut much vinyl in the last year or two, but uh, these guys have done an awesome job putting out some great songs. This was called Wings of Angels. Listen to them. Far City Boys. <laughs> A child was born to be our savior The wise men came from near and far To see little Jesus in a manger A pathway guided by a star Someday he'll wake me from the dead No more I'll sleep there all alone Till I'm carried up to him on high on the wings of angels headed home They crucified our Lord and Savior He humbly died upon cross that we might someday rise and join him our souls be saved and not be lost someday he'll wake me from the dead no more i'll sleep there all alone till i'm carried up to him on high on the wings of angels headed home
Wake me from the dead No more I'll sleep there all alone Till I'm carried up to him on high On the wings of angels headed home On wings of angels, oh yeah I like songs about angels wings that's um <laughs> one of my favorite songs old come angel band and that's uh just matches that one good one good one uh the next we're about to do uh want you just to uh strap in and we're going to have a little a little church here i hope you don't mind if you do mind well uh, get over it i guess but uh, we're gonna have a little church and I want you to to listen to these guys as they sing a song because he loved me and uh you'll like it i guarantee you'll like it all right hang on here we go I told you we'd fix the house from church. My, my, my. I tell you what, uh, I'd like to have been there at that particular church service because I guarantee you, them folks uh, once off camera, I'm sure had a good time of shouting and praising the Lord. You know, it ought to excite us to know that he loved us. Uh, and I don't, I don't think we could ever come close to loving him as much as he loves us. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever, I'm glad I was a whosoever, would believe. You know, believing in him as Master and Lord and Savior, 
would have everlasting life and what an awesome fact that is uh, I, I tell you what that's good I could uh, watch stuff like that listen to that kind of music all the time you can see the guys you know uh, clean cut good old uh, boys that just love Jesus and not afraid of their testimony not afraid to sing unto the Lord we've had a good broadcast today and uh, we thank you for following us on uh, YouTube today and uh, this is our biggest platform and we have a lot of views and a lot of hits out there on YouTube uh, just get on there the gospel porch and uh, we'll pop right up subscribe to us uh, like us a bunch you know and uh, ring that little bell at the end of the subscribe uh, area there and every time we have a new program we'll uh, notify you that we're on the air again uh, at the gospel porch we still have a lot of people following us on facebook and that's all right too uh, like us on facebook share us follow us and uh, uh, facebook at the gospel porch we appreciate our church and how they have been so supportive of our program and uh, our pastor paul dean mize uh, they're down in Texas with family during the Thanksgiving holidays and hoping they're tuning in and watching. And we give a shout out to our pastor and all the family down there and uh, Vider, Texas, around the Houston area. And uh, we love you, Pastor. Be safe coming back home. Also, we have an email address. If you'd like to email us, uh, comment or prayer request, uh, uh, I like you guys. Uh, keep it up, whatever the case may be. The gospel ports at gmail.com. And uh, we promise you we'll read and give prayerful consideration to everything that comes in. And uh, please let us know that you're listening to us. And uh, on the gospel porch, we're here. My goodness. And uh, we're glad that you just uh, sort of just put your feet under our uh, porch and have a great time with us. Uh, I really am thankful for this program today. Uh, it excites me every time I, I get behind this microphone and I know that uh, there's people out there on the other side of the camera watching me it excites me because it gives me a chance to show you that I'm still here and I'm still hanging man I'll tell you what somebody said you're you're a tough old bird I said yeah man I'm hanging in there like a hair in a biscuit and uh, so we're going to have a great time sharing this gospel music this gospel bluegrass music with as many as we can for as long as we can let me give a shout out again to our pastor at the sanctuary upc church mountain view arkansas there's a two or three mountain views around the country but we're the great state of arkansas and uh, if you haven't been to arkansas you're missing a treat to come to the natural state and we've got beauty uh, we have things to share we have Blanchard Springs Caverns, and we have the hills, and we have the folk music, and uh, of course, uh, Mountain View, Arkansas is the folk capital of the world, and on Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays, down around the courthouse square, playing gospel and secular bluegrass music, and uh, just having a great time up here. Come and see us. Uh, we just went through October, and we have our Bean Fest every year. And uh, people laugh at us for having Bean Fest and outhouse races. But uh, you'd have to come and join us some October. Uh, get online and just sort of Google what the Bean Fest of Mount View, Arkansas is all about. And uh, you'll just have a hanker to come share some pinto beans and cornbread with us hill folks. Uh, we have one more song, but uh, I get a little rambly uh, because uh, I guess that's just a preacher in me. But I appreciate you watching today. And the last song we're going to play it's called one accord and simply the statement is that we're to be together unified uh i love you and i hope you love me and if that is the case we're a happy happy family so listen to this last song it says one accord by the far city boys <laughs> on another shore defending people from an evil who can't defend themselves 
But it's with God we must stand true. He will bless the red, white, and blue. Let's all stand in one accord. Give the battle to the Lord. The battle won on Calvary when Jesus died for you and me. Took the blood of the precious lamb to wash away the sin of man. Every nation, every race, fall the same amazing grace. Let's all stand in one accord, give the battle to the Lord. So unforgiven of my sin, I was so ashamed. But grace and mercy was the verdict when I called upon his name. The battle won on Calvary when Jesus died for you and me. Took the blood of the precious lamb to wash away the sin of man. Every nation, every race, fall the same amazing grace. Let's all stand in one accord, give the battle to the Lord. Lamb to wash away the sin of man. Every nation, every race, all the same amazing grace. Let's all stand in one accord, give the battle to the Lord. Let's all stand in one accord, give the battle to the Lord. Unity, undivided, that's exactly what we need to be, not only in our Christian testimony, but also in our patriotic duty. Uh, you know, a lot of folks uh, have uh, kin folks and loved ones in the services, armed services, and uh, I have a grandson, I'm going to tell you where he's at, he's deployed, uh, and uh, I got a chance to Zoom, talk to him yesterday, and uh, he's doing good, but uh, I, we pray for our grandson, sons, Pray for our kids and the loved ones every day, but uh, they're standing and fight fight for us. They're in a place where we can't go, but they're standing in our place, and that's exactly what Jesus did at Calvary. He stood in our place at Calvary. We couldn't go to Calvary as a sacrifice, but we came as a recipient of that sacrifice Jesus paid at Calvary's Hill. Again, I'm so glad that you joined us. I've had a great time today. Man, feel good. I may not look very good, but I sure feel good, man. That's half the battle, I guess. Just feeling good. And uh, we've got some great days ahead of us. Good days ahead of us. Exciting times. Uh, our church is about ready to blow the lid off of this town. And uh, God is moving and blessing new folks coming in. New uh, programs and uh, new ministries opening up to our church. And we're excited and uh, we are thrilled to be a part of God's kingdom's business. Uh, but you know what? We got to get out of here and uh, put the rocking chair up for a while until next time. And uh, uh, if, listen, if you don't come back next time, I'm going to be offended. And uh, don't do that. Don't offend me, please. But we love you and we're so glad that you joined us on the Gospel Porch. Uh, my time's gone, but uh, my heart's with you. Thank you to all my friends and loved ones. Thank you for all the church members who watch us. Thank you for all those that have been praying for us. Continue to pray for us. Uh, the victory's won. All we got to do is cross the finish line in this race for in. God bless you. Love you. This is Gary saying God bless you from the gospel porch. See you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.